All right, we're checking out the only game where you have to choose between life or death, but there's no life option. It's Comics Bob. Comics Bob is a game that makes no sense and then you die. It's like giving coffee to a plant. What could possibly go wrong here? Why are we, uh, oh, the plant, yeah. See, the plant just got angry and then vomited the hot coffee back upon me, melting my skin and killing me. Why are we in the Stone Age wearing a leopard print pink bathing suit? I have no clue. Nope. There's no reason for this. The game gives you absolutely no explanation other than the fact that everything that you deal with will probably have the opportunity to murder you somehow. Random mirror sitting in the middle of nowhere. Who put it there? Jason Voorhees. How do you deal with the random disembodied head of Jason Voorhees? Beat it to death with a hammer or put a cloak over it? When you can, always choose violence. Are you gonna break the mirror? I assume she's just gonna break the mirror. She broke the mirror. I can't believe that that was the right option. Hey, phone, in the Jurassic period. Oh, if I answer this with the rain clouds, do I die and get electrocuted? Please tell me I die and get electrocuted. It's happening. It's happening right now. Hello? Who's there? It's Mother Nature. Oh, no! I got abducted by a rock! What is this? Am I, am I waking up from my abduction? There's like a pair of things made to rip teeth out of someone's head and a random Jason mask. My options are a rock or a grappling hook. Why can't I just go around this? Also, why would someone abduct me only to perforate me with whatever this is? Like they had to put an angry doom trap for the very first thing that I see. What is this up here? I'm gonna use the grappling hook because the grappling hook looks awesome. And I still haven't managed to accidentally murder myself. Oh, that was a place for you to catch your grappling hook. Can you literally just put a doorknob on this, whatever this is, and it just opens up? I'm using the ax. This has got to be the wrong answer. I can't keep getting lucky. I don't have this type of luck. Finally, murder's back on the menu. All right, we'll turn it into a door and then open it. This is like 1960s Mickey Mouse cartoons. I'm out of here. Oh, my abductor's evolving. Instead of putting the boards like a door, he's put the boards in like this star formation or something. Oh, but I could just crawl through them. That was useless. You know what I like? Vitamin D. Time to get out to the sun by riding inside of a mine cart. Seems like a great idea. Let's drop a rocket to it. Not sure where I'm pulling that out of my leopard bathing suit. We're not gonna worry too much about it. Oh, here we go. Oh, I just murdered me. Nothing like getting nuked in the Stone Age. Although like most Stone Age women, obviously I carry a rocket in my purse. I guess, oh, it's a, you don't pump the, we use the mine cart to go six feet. <laughs> this whole situation could have been just, we could have just walked. This takes laziness to a whole new level. Whenever I have the choice between vaguely left and vaguely right, you always choose vaguely left because it it gets you killed. No, Every time, left is always the wrong answer. All right, dollar store Jessica Rabbit. Yeah, we went six feet in the mine car. I thought maybe we were going to drive it for an additional uh, an additional duration of time. No, it went another six feet, crashed. I'd had to do a barrel roll out of it like a Michael Bay film. And now we're in front of an exit that's blocked by like an eight ton rock, dynamite. This girl has everything inside of her dress. Literally everything. Like where is she pulling this pickaxe from? I don't know if I want to know. Yeah, see, she had to, I, I'm not sure, I, I don't even want to talk about it. I mean, it's great that she has all these items chilling out on her. I'm just more curious what sort of dimensional pocket we're dealing with. Am I a totally different character right now? Can someone tell me why the women from the Stone Age look like Victoria's Secret models and the men look like rejects? from Family Guy. <laughs> also, why is this snake wearing a sombrero? Snake's like, listen, I'm I don't want to get sunburned. Okay, you heard of melanoma? Yeah, no snake wants to die from melanoma. I can maraca it or I can charm it with this, this thing over here. I kind of want to die, so I'm going to use this instead. I assume it's just yes. going to annoy it. And then, yep, he's strangling me to death and I am vomiting out my own organs. Actually, it just looks like we're really good friends. All right, I guess we'll samba you to sleep over here. How do you like that? Oh, the snake is dancing. The snake is losing tons of calories. The snake is exhausted. It's now going to go. <laughs> what is this? Is this like the cheaper off-brand version of Medusa? It's like Medulla. I can hose her down with a squirt gun or give her flowers. Hose her down. Yeah. Oh, she just grew. It just helped her. Oh, she's, it's just, it was my wife or something. I still don't know what the relationship is between these two people. Listen, I had to murder a plant person to get these flowers. They're for you. You're welcome. Are we friends now? Oh, I did it. 
I have a I have a cave wife now or something. What is what are these dances they do? Stop it! Stop that! Your ankle is doing things that hurt me from a from a a, a, medi a metaphysical level. Just the wife and I going for a walk over here. Ah, a stone slate. I must paint the likeness of I guess her because we're the only two people on the planet. What is this? What is this? Is this a is this a fox with their eyes bulging out of their skull? And I'm gonna use his tail to paint on this. I need to do it. Oh, it's everything I hoped it would be. What an what an evil creature. That is amazing. Ah, a mud hole. As a gentleman, I must deal with this so that she may walk across it. Do I deal with it by taking my shirt off and putting it down there, which no, I can't do God, because then YouTube no. won't like the fact that my dude is naked? Or do I get tetanus by drinking it with a straw? I'll tell you. If there's one thing I love, it's dysentery. Oh. <laughs> That wor it worked? <laughs> I don't know how, but it worked. We have arrived at the Love Hotel. We can either get demonetized or have a coffee. <laughs> Here, you can have a coffee. How's that? Is that okay? It was totally okay. Two people enter, one person leaves. I don't know why. I don't know where she went. She could be dead. Not really sure. Now I have to ninja kick a saber tooth tiger to death. What is this? Like anti saber tooth deodorant? Here, this is some anti saber tooth deodorant. Yetus. Oh, he's blinded. Oh my God, I just blinded that poor creature. He's probably gonna get run over by a Flintstones vehicle. Ah yes, the great quandary of this period of time. Do you use an umbrella or do you use a blow dryer? Always use the blow dryer for maximum death. Maximum death, there it is. I wanted to see what happened if I tried to go hand to hand with this creature. Oh, nothing. He just bit my club, and now he's going to bite my flesh. Okay, he's looking at me very creepily. I hate that this option is completed with something that makes total sense. Like, with the umbrella, you should get carried away by the wind and murdered. And somehow the blow dryer should be the right choice. I made it to my house. I assume this is my house. I really don't know. It could be someone else's house, and I'm just gonna murder them and take it. So, um... What is this? What is this right here? What sort of hideous being is this? Is that supposed to be like an antelope? Is that what that is? Am I gonna lasso it and then eat it? Am I even gonna cook it or am I just gonna eat it raw? This straight up lasso him. You belong to me now. I'm taking you home to meet my wife. Oh my God, I turned him into a steak immediately. <laughs> is a butane torch or a lighter? That's right, everyone. In case you're wondering, this is a completely accurate representation of history. This is exactly how mankind developed fire. They had to make a choice. Do I use a lighter or a torch? Use a torch. Why not? What can go wrong? Oh, I guess I can overcook no. it. Now I'm just going to be eating carbon. If I pelt this thing with a giant rock, what happens? Ugh. Surprise, mother... Oh, it gets murdered by something that's not me. Oh, I don't like that. All right, I guess I'll use the lighter. Kind of a, kind of a lame way to beat this, but... Uh... Oh, wow, he looked... What was he doing there? Like, he almost didn't want the scene to fade to black. I'm not really sure what was going on. Oh, I need a toilet! I have toilet paper on me! That pterodactyl is chewing on my toilet paper! Well, I got my wife an, an antelope for her birthday, so I guess I could get her a pterodactyl, too. Come here, I'm just roping everything today. Ow. This is a dangerous part of town I live in. I'm gonna tell you, let me blow up this random pterodactyl friend for you. Yeah, go get her. My toilet paper. Hi. I have to go to the... What is this? What is this? What am I gonna give a bubble gum? Gonna stick his mouth together? Is that, is that what happens? I need to know. Here, yeah, chew on the whole thing. Yeah, see, now he can't open his mouth anymore. Now he's just gonna die from from malnourishment because he can't eat. Everything I come across, I kill. It's the only option. I never befriend anything. They just get murdered. Let me use a crowbar on this. That seems to be the stupidest answer. I love to crowbar things to death. Was there a sheep using the toilet? Why? I guess I'll do the polite thing and knock. Hey, Mr. Sheep, are you done in there? Yeah, take that, take that with you. God, what did you do inside this bathroom, sheep? Also, is it just me or does this toilet have padding on it? I mean, it should, it's just made of stone, but it looks like the padding is the sheep wool. That'd be weird if the hair that you owned was your own padding on the toilet? Ah, scary. 
Random skull with an apple in it. If I grab the apple, do I lose my arm? Oh, yep, sure do. This guy is like, why do you use me for your amusement, Greg? It's important to my satisfaction to watch you die in every conceivable way. You may have the apple. There you go. Now you can have a high fiber diet. Oh, never mind. You're just going to tuck it away. We'll never see that apple again. Welcome to the restaurant, except it's guarded by a trio of poisonous snakes. Why? What am I going to do, like chopstick the snakes to death? Yep. Oh, oh, I just ate that snake. D did I eat it while it's alive? This is odd. Why are you stroking that fish lovingly? He's like, listen, I love food. I love food a lot. Isn't that right, Mr. Fish? The fish is like, for God's sakes, throw me back. It's right there. The water's right there. I'm dying. I am, you're stroking me lovingly while I'm dying. What's in the worm? What's the point of, I mean, I, I get the knife. What does this do? What's the point of this? What am I going to feed the fish and the, feed's get, the fish is going to be, ah! Never mind, I don't love this fish anymore. Kill the fish. I thought about saving this fish's life. Never again. You get the butcher's cleaver. Yeah. Go ahead. He's like, you may do the honors. Oh, the fish ran away. Now I'm going to starve to death. What a progressive restaurant. I have to go and fish for my own food and then cook it myself. But then I have to pay the restaurant. Why? Not a clue. My bait, an old sock or a depressed caterpillar. Well, it's kind of like a disinterested caterpillar. Look at him, it's like, hey, you wanna catch me a fish? He's like, meh. All right. Oh, it is like 10 inches long, that thing is. I don't, I can't believe I caught a fish with this. Oh, there's just fish everywhere. Get to pick one. The blue fish or the red fish? I like fire. We're picking the red fish. Yeah, you're the right one, aren't you? Come here. Oh, he has teeth. Never mind. It, uh, it's chewing on my brain. Right now, he is penetrating my skull with his teeth. Well, guess the correct option was, oh, it's an entire whale. The correct option is me getting slingshotted out of the water by a humpback whale's tail. Yeet. That was weird. Oh, and I got the, where did that fish come from? Just rain down from the heavens. I caught this fish. Don't ask how. Stop stroking the fish. That is the weirdest restaurant I have ever been to in my life. Ah, oh, murder hornets. Hide in the bush. Try and best them in hand-to-hand -hand combat with a stick. Let us use this stick. Ooh, ooh, come on, bring it on. Ah, ah. Ow. I ran out of stamina. Stab, stab, now stab. I'm getting. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> the fact that his eye is pulsing out of his skull is the most concerning thing. I feel like they're gonna know where I hid. I didn't go very far. Nope, they have no idea. My stealth score is massive. Like a Dungeons and Dragons character. I rolled a nat 20. Two snakes hanging out of a tree. Which one do you hold on to? Green one. It's gotta be the right choice at some point. Oh, that snake had, a, had an umbrella in his mouth. That's weird. I don't know why you would have that. All right, bye. Huh, all the wildlife I've been meeting recently have been so nice. None of them have tried to kill me, except for that one fish that ate my head. Wow, this, ha this house is way more spacious in the inside than you think. Like, it looked like a two by two, but not at all. Like, it's got like four 400,000 square feet inside. What do I want my hair to look like? Me? Slightly more manicured me? Or this? I kind of want this because it's so stupid. Fantastic. Oh, yeah. That is perfect. What is this hideous suit? I want it. I am so happy with this outfit. All this and I still couldn't afford a pair of shoes. What are you doing? Yikes. They made this in such an inappropriate way. I really hope that that's a watering hose you have. I don't know what the right option is here. I kind of want to know what this is. And take the car. What is this? What? Oh, it's a lawnmower. It's a remote controlled lawnmower. Did that bush just vomit out these flowers? What's with the death traps again? We haven't had a death trap in a while. Throw a pillow on it. Obviously that'll protect me. I was wrong. I don't think the hammer has ever been the right answer. I'm kind of glad it is for once. I'm gonna hammer the nails down. Yep. They're just going right back into the earth. And that's what you get. It's that same pterodactyl that's been ruining my life forever. I'm gonna shoot it with a plunger attached to a bow. Seems like a great idea. 
I hope you're not an endangered species. Ow. What is a woodpecker gonna do? Am I gonna use it like a pickaxe and beat him to death with it? I've gotta use it like a, oh, I thought, well, okay. It's kind of like a weapon. Finally got back home to my wife. What is that? What did my wife just run away with? What was that in the driver's seat? I am very curious. What is that? Oh my God, what is that? Is that a dinosaur wearing a mustache? I am glad that I own the Flintstones car. Well, I owned the Flintstones car. The Flintstones car is now running away with my wife. I can chase it on a sad scooter or a, or a, a skateboard. We're using the skateboard. It seems like a great way to break your neck. Wow, I broke my neck and then my skateboard also gave me brain damage. The way to fix a relationship is cardio. Oh, I'm not getting cardio at all. It's like an electric scooter. Just ramp it. Come on. Yeah, get some speed, ramp that thing, and then fall to the center of the earth. The answer, once again, is apparently the lasso. Don't know what I'm gonna lasso from. Oh, it's the same pterodactyl. There's one, one left in the entire universe. Oh, my wife's cheating on me with a, this is like a leopard? I have no idea what this creature is supposed to be. Beat him to death or fish hook him? Beat him, 100 kilograms, I'm lifting it like it's nothing. On the tail. <laughs> oh, it's the saber tooth tiger thing. I thought I murdered you with the saber tooth spray. Oh, I can't, that was it. All right, I guess I fixed everything. Or did I, I don't know, I'm, I'm waking up again. I wanna eventually marry this woman. You, you're the one that did this to me. I'm gonna light the entire tree on fire. Yeah, that's what happens. You think you could get involved with my family without eventually dying? I hate foliage. Let's chop it down. Nope. Oh, the foliage is alive. The foliage has, the foliage has running shoes on. Why am I breaking into the museum? What is the point of this? I am lockpicking the museum like Skyrim. I just, okay. I beat the lockpicking mini game. What's inside the museum? Is this where I'm getting the ring from? I couldn't just work a normal job and pay for one? The hammer worked last time. It cannot work twice in a row. There's no way. Yeah, all I did was check his reflexes and he killed me. I love the idea that this isn't a statue made of stone. It's just a very dusky skinned guy that has nothing to do all day. He's just getting paid to stand there. See, now you can at least rock out. Yeah, you, you, yeah I just enriched your life like 2000%. Even the bone skeletons are alive. I'm gonna chill them out. Bring in the ice age early. The ice men uh, that's not how cold works. You know what? I'll take it. I'm a wizard. I had no idea. This dude has a job in every establishment. Every single establishment. Also, what is that? I know it's, I guess, a skin, but whose skin is it? They're probably still alive. Even back then, they believed in aliens. I'm gonna use aliens. Oh. Well, never mind. I thought I was gonna abduct the ring. <laughs> That's right. Workings for saps. Just steal the thing that you're gonna ask your wife to marry you with. Someone tell me how this happened. How did an anvil fall through the earth and make a pathway that's only big enough for a ring. Also, where is my wife gonna wear this ring? This ring is bigger than my arm. I'm gonna like put it around her neck. Come here, snake, be useful for once in your life. Yeah, just grab the ring. There you go, perfect. Good job, buddy. Oh, finally the police have caught up with me. Like eight hours later. Solid snake it right here. Bam. No idea where I am. Walking box with legs. Just got away. So the last time I picked the red one, I got murdered. Remember the fish bit me on the head. I'm picking red again. It's gotta be the right one eventually, right? Oh, it was. Told you. I have finally brought this ring for you to marry me. She's like, what do I do with it? I honestly don't know. I have no idea. I have no clue what you're gonna do with this. Oh! You're gonna get murdered by a pterodactyl. I worked so hard my whole life to get married and now my wife just got decapitated by a pterodactyl. That's the stone age for you. Put on a glider or use a balloon. This seems a lot more dangerous. Let's do it. Oh yeah. Oh, this is gonna kill me. This is gonna, yep, it did. All right, we'll strap a giant kite to our back. Obviously this is an even better idea. To be fair, the hole was only about six feet across. I could've just jumped. This is the pinnacle of laziness. Random rock in the way. What should I do? Murder it. What's with the chili pepper? Am I gonna breathe fire on it? That oh, the fire came out of a different place. I see. Is she, is she hanging out on the nest? <laughs> She's like 60 feet away. Just walk over there and help her down. Oh, aliens, finally. 
Yeah! Abduction time! I love that that is how you complete that level. What in God's name? <laughs> what is this? I am on the alien spaceship. This is the alien. I have now been tubicated. Yeah, just beat it with a baseball bat. That's the answer for everything in this world. Yeah, you guys don't have baseball bats on your planet? Ah, uh, is it? Does that smell like ammonia? Yep, that's ammonia. All right, I guess I'm kissing the glass. Yes, here we go. We, we look, we, we're not even slightly oh, similar. Yeah, and he just got hurricane Yeah. Now you get to sit in there with the ammonia. I hope you love it. Crowbar or press the button? Crowbar, obviously. Luckily, I brought my crowbar with me when I got abducted. It makes total sense. The crowbar works. Whatever. Oh, what is that? Oh, it's kind of, apparently it enjoys eating flesh. Let me sing you a song. Yes, the song of my people. Right there. You like country rock? It's like, like classical. It's very classical. It's from like 18 million years ago. Well, this dude's dual wielding ways to kill me. He's got a ray gun and, what is this? What am I doing here? Is she gonna take off her bra? I need to know. Oh, I just had a spare. <laughs> It still got me killed, though. He had one eye left. I don't know how a lollipop is going to save me, but I'm willing to give it a shot. Oh, they just don't know what it's like to have diabetes over there. Thanks for the ray gun. Oh, he got, he's got an even bigger ray gun. Am I just going to backhand him? What? bam Oh, yeah, there it is. I slapped his teeth right out of his mouth. Am I? Oh. Oh, that is awful. I love that his jaw is still dislocated. It does disappoint me greatly that I can't just slap you to death. So, what am I doing? Oh, oh, I'm, I'm steaming him. He is being steamed to death and finally I can escape. I assume I can. This thing doesn't fit very well, but <laughs> what is that? <laughs> I'm gonna shove this up him or something. Just throw a rocket inside of his rectum and see what happens. That wasn't really the way I had planned for that to work, but I'll take it. Oh, we're going through a meteor shower. Warning. Yeah, I can see that. Hotwire it. Yes. Do it. Hotwire the spaceship. What could go wrong? Yeah, just cross these two wires. This is how you fix problems in life. This is how you fix problems in life. Never mind. We're all dead. Well, guess I'm going to throw a steering wheel on it and just drive it like a car. Yep. Just drift it. Just drifting the spaceship through space. Well, kick it. Use your hand. We're drop kicking it. Watch ya! <laughs> oh, I, I really hoped that that was. And finally, I get to the exit. I have survived my encounter with aliens, I guess. This storyline made no sense. Anyway, folks, maybe it's this episode of Comic Bob. Till the next time, stay foxy, much love.